Yo, it's the Keeping It Raw Podcast. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Click that bell so that you'll be notified whenever we put up an upload. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the installment. All right, guys. Coach Prime is in full effect. Coach Prime is in full effect. Everybody wants the swagger that Coach Prime has, man. It's something about the swagger that Coach Prime has that a lot of people just don't have. And it's a lot of coaches that don't have. They don't have the knowledge. They don't have the uh, the capabilities, the things that he's able to pull off, they're not able to do. And you got a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, not really believing um, like they should believe. Definitely, man, Coach Prime has definitely been a winner in his career, you know, whether it been coaching or playing. And right now, he's winning big time with Colorado, man. Pretty much got these kids 2-0. And possibly they could be 3-0 after uh, Saturday's game against Colorado. And definitely, man, um, headed into that game against Colorado State, you don't want to take them lightly. You want to go in there and get the job done. You want to go in there and win that football game. But I want to say after that game against Colorado State, it's going to get real because now you're going to have to go on the road and play Oregon. And then you also got to play USC. So you got to go against the Heisman, um, last year's Heisman winner and Caleb Williams. But not only that, I just want to say that the game is being televised. Again, the Oregon game is being televised. Prime is definitely in full effect. Everybody wants to know what Colorado football is doing. Colorado right now is the hottest team in the country. Now, this used to be Alabama. This, you know, and Alabama still get a lot of eyes on them because they still are a prestigious college to go to when it comes to football. But... I don't think Alabama dynasty is going to be the same. I think that it's going to change. I still think that they'll be a, a good program, but I don't think that they're just going to go in and dominate and win all these championships every year like they used to. But the good thing about what Coach Prime is doing, man, is it's definitely a great thing, man, to see Colorado uh, get the light shined on them, especially a team that was a program that was 1-11 uh, last year and now – um, they already uh, succeeded that by uh, winning their second game. And then if they can win their third game. And if, and I'm telling you guys right now, if Coach Prime wins against Oregon and USC, he's going to light the college world on fire. A lot of recruits are going to want to come to Colorado. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. If Coach Prime wins against Oregon and USC, you bet your bottom dollar that Oregon, I mean, uh, you bet your bottom dollar that uh, Colorado will be the destination of a lot of players. Now, I know a lot of people have been talking about the Shador thing and whether Shador is going to stay, whether he's going to go. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I think that Shador, and this is just my opinion, I do think that Shador is going to stay one more year to get that program off the ground. You know, because a lot of people are talking about, okay, you know, Shador pretty much being a first round pick and definitely he's going to be a first round pick. That's no doubt about it. We already know who they got um, slated in the number one spot. That's Caleb Williams. But definitely Shador is just as good as Caleb Williams. The only thing that I think that Shador needs to work on is being able to um, run more. That's it. And I'm talking about run when you need to run. I'm not just talking about being Lamar Jackson or Michael Vick. Just run. When you need to run. That's the only thing that to me in my eyes that he needs to work on. Other than that, man, this dude, he can play. Shador can ball, man. But I love the Coach Prime effect. I love what Coach Prime is doing. I love that the kids are buying in. And you got to take it one game at a time. But if Coach Prime, you hear me and you guys hear me clearly. If Coach Prime wins against Oregon and USC, he's going to, I'm telling you, Colorado is going to get so much attention like none other, especially if Shador puts up crazy numbers against these guys. We already know that Caleb Williams is the real deal. But now Shador 
you know, is is I mean, pretty much the door has came in came into the power five and showed everybody like, look, man, I could have been doing this from day one. I mean, Sh- Shador was recruited by a lot of these big schools, but he decided to take his talents down with his father to Jackson State and then end up coming with them in Colorado. And all this stuff is panning out, man. So the so Coach Prime is in full effect, man, and pretty much he's landed another TV deal um uh for uh the Oregon game so everybody's going to be watching the Oregon game and everybody's going to be seeing what Colorado is going to be doing and what they're cooking up next all right you guys I'm out of here peace